How's it going, boys? Welcome back to the new update, boys. Yeah. Um, more importantly, ignore this. This is completely uh, a mistake, to say the least. But anyways, it's not supposed to happen. However, the new update is here, and we're going to do a patch analysis. So, yeah. And, yeah, techies. Holy shit, techies. There's so many things that change about techies, actually. I have to actually go into demo mode. Ooh, this background is pretty nice. I haven't watched a new episode of, uh, what's it called? Fucking Dota 2, bro. Dragon's Blood. I haven't watched the second one. I haven't gone, got to it yet. But anyways, I was testing out techies. This hero completely changed. No more green mines. And this became the ultimate. It's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah, everything about techies that you knew before is completely changed. That's what I'm going to say. He's more of a support now than anything. And I honestly think this is for the better. So the game doesn't go late to like the fucking 50 minute mark and just like become retarded. Um, But anyways, let's turn the volume a bit down a little bit. But yeah, let's go through this, boys. This is going to be a long video, but it's going to be a fun video. Where he did Primal Beast. Um... You know what? I'm actually just gonna talk about the uh, creeps for now. This is gonna be for the creeps, honestly. Not this is just gonna be for techies, actually. This is I'm gonna make this a three-part video. Uh, the jungle bites back. Blah blah. No longer will this punishment will complain. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Afraid, I'm afraid to fight back when heroes come calling out jungle teams with new acting badges waiting to ruin the day of the unfortunate war. Yeah, I'm first to roll just got a lot higher. Scary. Interesting. Interesting. So the jungle creeps got a lot stronger, it seems. Okay. They actually use their abilities now. Holy fuck, it stuns you? Oh my god. They're actually they actually fight back now. They're not a bunch of pussies. Oh my god, that's so annoying. That's literally like the fucking old one, the purple fucking thing. Is this the centaur? No, this is the new uh ancient creep. The pineapples. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Holy fucking shit. Techies. Alright, well, we're gonna talk about... Okay, so first of all, this is like... Um... So now they have... Now they're... Now they're team players now. So now it's not just like... Techies... So, okay, before it was techies being fucking stupid, basically playing the game by itself, and they had no team fight. But now techies actually has team fight. And techies gonna play with the team. He's gonna be more like a support as roaming, but also planting bombs. So now it's like his Q is basically a tossing bomb that throws at people. Like, it's literally like this you throw at people like that. And you have this one that you have to be right next to the uh, the enemies in order to be used, right? And you also have this. This is like the only thing, but then there's the delayed cooldown. So you basically plant it as you go. And you can also put it on the bomb. So it's still techies in a way, but it's completely different because now you're going to be fighting a lot more. You're going to be way more active. With these two abilities combined with blast off, it's gonna be you're gonna be fighting a lot more, and they're buffing this a lot longer. And you can't like deny yourself, so you like Pudge, you know, they're trying to take away the fucking bullshit denying. You zap them, you disarm them, and this is like this is like the same thing, but this does a lot more damage, right? And you can only put three. Like you can't put it next to each other. It's not going to be like the green ones where you stack up, use 4 staff, and you fucking kill people. It's going to be a lot more active gameplay. Like, a lot more active. Yeah, so no more bullshit 50 minute, like, high ground shit. You fucking hold it all. And then you fucking just, like, 4 staff people into bombs and just kill them like that with your remote mines. None of that stupid shit anymore. 
yeah. Honestly, I fucking love it to be honest. I I don't like the old techies. The old techies was bullshit. It's like it's so stupid, man. It's just so dumb. Like it just did not make sense at all. Alright, can I fucking go back? How do I go back? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Okay, thank you. Alright, nice. Holy shit, this looks scary. Look at the mouth on the bottom. It's so fucked up. Let's read this. Uh, through the mist woods and uh, the creatures. The 4,000 year stomping ground for the beast disruptive play. Ooh, okay, interesting. Hunger, carnage, primal beast and picks. What it is standing is way interesting. So, with the new beast, there's new fucking animals too. There's new wallpapers. Alright, so first of all, we gotta look at this, okay? Holy shit, this is gonna be a long video, guys. Okay, first of all, there is a fucking... Um, base gold hero bounty increase of this. So more bounty, okay? Oh my god, this is so confusing. Cooldown reduction now stacks diminishingly. Okay, so you don't get cooldown reductions as much as before. So it's not like... It only stacked once. Oh, no. Before it didn't stack at all. Now it stacks. Okay, interesting. All right. So if you get the fucking Octarine Core and like the cooldown reduction item, you actually stack. Move the bounty units from the triangle to the primal jungle. So there's a primal jungle now. Offlane towers from the base. So it's even further away now, meaning it's closer, so there's less chase potential. But the tower's also easier to take. They're invulnerable as long as there's one enemy here on the base until they issue a command. As long as there's at least one enemy until they issue a command. So no more fountain f farming. As long as there's one enemy hero in the base. Okay, so no more fountain camping with like Bristol back and bullshit like that. Okay, so no more fountain farming. Alright, so that, yeah. Rework gold formula. Alright, I don't get this shit, guys. But basically, I'm guessing you get less gold. Oh, yeah, okay. So you get less gold at first, but you, then you get more gold as the game goes on. So the early game is a slower, but the game goes rapidly faster. Same with XP as well. Just same deal. Uh, kill information now shows a breakdown of gold bounty for the kill lit plus proxi proximity mine. Kill lit plus pro- what? Question mark? So now you just like see more information now? The following abilities now consist of revealing breakdown of gold bounty for the kill lit plus- okay. Uh, the following bounty now remain for the duration winter's curse. Aether Remnant, Berserker's Rage, Shackles, Life Train, Dismember. Oh, so now you can see it when it's invisible. Enchant Remnant, Rod of Eidos, Glip, Glipner, Troll, and Snare. So all the ensnares. Life Strain from Pugna. Um, all this shit. So there's the game. All these like channeling abilities, you can't just glimmer yourself out of it. And you can't just shadow blade out of that shit. Makes sense though. Attack and armor types are are now represented through abilities. Okay, most damage remains unchanged with the few. Let me put my glasses on real quick. This shit is a lot to read. All right. So with a few exceptions and creep versus creep tower situations. Okay. So. With that being said, new ability piercing unit deal 100 not hero and 50 to less standard units. So there's a piercing effect attack damage type now. It does more damage to heroes but less damage to creeps. Reinforce reduce not hero units by 30. What? Runty. Runty deals less damage to heroes. 
What the fuck? Oh, these are just a bunch of new... Oh my god, there's so much more shit now. Now it's even harder to get into this game. There's already so much content, but I guess Valve's just testing new things. Uh, Rune Tier Devourer. Oh, I guess this is only for creeps though, but still. All have piercing abilities. So all, they all got piercing now. They got piercing damage. Oh my god, so... Not standard units. Okay. Oh, they don't do more damage to the heroes. Darks, my dogs fucking barking, guys. Uh, all buildings you now have reinforced ability. Okay. So I guess they do more damage to other reinforced units. Fifty receive damage of fifty. Reduce damage received. Mainly create okay, so but just bunch of piercing abilities, idol launch, no longer have to have the basic attack type. Okay, so what is what happens now? Standard attack type. Damage is just to the damage, net damage similar. Piercing now have piercing ability. So it's the ability now. It's like a passive? Next it should be further until they pick it up. Neutral now increase, so now you don't lose the team. Okay, so that's like quality of life update. HP is 30 uh, every 5 minutes. Okay, so they get stronger. Last upgrade at 225 minutes. It's attack increased to 2. Attack speed, ancient creep. Okay, so now it's a lot harder to farm. Now you can't just fuck. Okay, so now jungling at level 1, none of that shit is even viable anymore. It's impossible to do that now. Now they're deterring it even more. You can't just go nature's profit jungling. Like, there's literally, like, two creeps. Two creep camps that you can probably kill. Like, the fucking thing stuns you. Like, I was looking, right? It stuns you. And it does more damage. And they get stronger over time. So, like, it's just, like... It's just way harder to jungle now. Like, you're not supposed to be jungling until you have uh, some items. And now it's even harder to, so... You really gotta get a regen. I hope, hopefully, they get some like lifesteal items that you can like actually regen through. Um, two ancient free bow golem. So there's new large camp, two war pine, the shit, and the new ancient. I know piranhas, like the piranhas, the fucking like purple shit that roots you. That shit was bullshit. Uh, hopefully, this is not as op as that. Or else everything will be cancer. So I don't actually understand this, but essentially, yeah, they have magic res. They give a lot of gold. And they throw a bomb, the only 50. So it's like an ogre magi's fucking, uh, what's it called? The ice ball thing. The, the fucking ice bomb. Like the ogre second ability. What is it called again? Ogre magi. Ignite. Yeah, that shit is bullshit. If this is half as op as ignite, then it's broken. It deals 25, it deals damage to buildings too. Wow. These are just right clicks. Um,. Uh, they aren't player controlled. Okay. Cooldown reduction. Okay. Okay. So these work with that, but then they also work with the heroes. We're playing Rider. So they shoot acorns, dealing 100 damage. So this is like Hoodwink's fucking ability. It's literally Hoodwink, but creep version. They have decent move speed. They got mana, attack speed, and everything. Alright, so... They made this stronger now. Wait, this means creep pulling is good. Is it a good time to get back in the game? Yes, dude. It's a new update. Get to know the game. I Everything's fucked up, though. I know their Valve is literally... There's been two updates since the update. Like, Valve's literally fixing shit up. And there's a lot of new things that's added. It's all on my sister's birthday, which is I need to go fucking eat a cake soon. But yeah, this is going to take a while. Maybe two-part video. But yeah, anyways... These creeps are stronger in every sense, meaning every attack speed, everything is stronger. Like, these little kobolds actually do more. And it's gonna be more effective to pull creeps. Like, they can actually kill the full creep. Unless if they made the fucking uh, lane creep stronger as well. Then that means the heroes aren't as strong as before. So you... Yeah, so now the NPCs are actually pretty fucking strong. And every hero buy that buys Helm the Dominator, like Chen... Like, Chen... All the heroes that dominate creep, Enchantress, all those heroes are stronger now because the lane creeps and the jungle creeps are just stronger. They got piercing abilities now. They got, they all got like 
Mana Aura. Oh, GG, bro. Well, that sucks. No one I fucking use it anyway. Uh, piercing ability. Okay, health increased. Two damage per, per second. Just everything changed. Everything. Like, I don't even know, guys. There's just so much shit. The ghost. Um, this shit still, the attack speed slow is still bullshit, though. Um, they launch at you. Silence is a unit. What? Look at all this. Stormcraft Harpy. Harpy Stormcraft. This shit was broken back then. Uh, damage reduced, okay. Health regen, health reduced, attack time reduced. Against low target unit. Yeah, so it's still broken though. The fucking ability is still broken. Mud Golem magic resistance reduced, so I guess you can farm them either easier. Deals double damage to creeps. Uh, player control creeps. Won't chain cast the rocks. Oh, okay. So it's easier to micro. So I guess they're they're basically saying like, oh guys, you can we're 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 more welcoming you guys to pick Chen and trying out new heroes and shit like that. Try to go on ogre bruiser. Yeah, this is bullshit though. Now they just stun you. No mana cost either. So ogre smash. Yeah, fuck out of here. Big attack for two point eight, stun for three seconds, dealing two hundred. 8% of the target's HP has damage to all units. What? Ogre cat in their camps. Multiple chain casters stun. So it's random. It's completely random. Dude. What? The fucking ogre brew. This, this is broken. 8% of the target's current HP. That's bullshit. This this is broken. This ogre brewer guy is broken. Satar banisher. Dude, now they're gonna start casting abilities to you. Yo, honestly, I think this is way too strong. This is way too broken. I don't know, man. These these are way too broken. Crosshair. More magic resistance. Okay, so they're even stronger now. Definitely Helmdom. Every Chen, all those heroes are way more broken now. Way more broken. More armor, just every buff, buff in every way. Uh, most heroes are were weak. Most uh, creeps are weak. Every hero now. Oh, okay. Oh, no longer has Swift Dora. It's when it dies. Okay. Okay, so you want to kill it off. Interesting. 100 plus attack speed. Wow. Okay, that's broken. Now it also moves you. Wild Wings. Two hundred mana. Wait, does this mean that if there's like a nearby Wild Wing in the camps that's not your controlled, it will also attack the person that's attacking the Wild Wing? <laughs> Yo, that's fucking hilarious. That's actually crazy. New mana costs reduced. And snares no longer ability. Raise no longer in nearby corpse. Oh, okay. More gold. So, oh, they give more gold, though. Here's the thing. They do give more gold. Right? They do give more gold, but they're stronger. Actually, they don't. It's just more balanced. Yeah, they don't even give... They give less gold. What? They give less gold. Yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, they give less gold. Okay. Yeah, so this is definitely a buff to everything. Um, gold bounty reduced. Well, let's, so you can actually farm these at Zeus now. Question mark, Zeus farming a golem. Yeah, everything is just like fucking... More abilities to like the ones that don't have... So basically every fucking creep has ability now. That's what it is. And they're basically buffing them while reducing the gold cost. That's fucking crazy. But yeah, guys. Definitely a lot harder to jungle now. So all the heroes that rely on the jungle like Sven. Yeah, GG man. Uh, the lane creep farmers like Ricky, maybe even stronger now, but all the Chen is definitely stronger. Definitely interesting though, but yeah, anyways, there's a lot more to it too, but I want to get through the items. So anyways, that's it for the video now. Just watch my next video for the items, boys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.